Hi guys, it's Ross from Tillotson Racing. In this video I'll be assembling a new 225RS engine. I've unboxed all the auxiliary parts and laid them out here, ready for assembly. In no particular order I'm going to start with the intake manifold first. Undo the nuts and spring washers. Also remove the tape protective taping and make sure that the surface area for the gasket is clean. Install the D-shaped gasket, make sure it's the correct orientation and slide on your intake manifold using your M6 nuts and spring washers. Screw it on by hand and then tighten up with a 10mm spanner. I've tightened up the intake manifold so now we can go ahead and stick on the carburetor. This carburetor comes with a gasket built in so there's no need to put a gasket in between using a 5mm allen key. Tighten up the bolts. The bolts are tight on the carburetor. Next thing to do is put on the air filter, which is quite simple. Just push it on and tighten up using a 7mm socket or a flathead screwdriver. The air filter is tightened up now and I've installed the fuel pipe and the pulse pipe. The outlet for the fuel is on the left hand side of the pump and the pulse is in the middle parallel to the inlet. So as you can see the pulse pump is connected here in the middle and runs down onto the intake manifold and the fuel pipe is connected on, on the left hand side of the pump which is out here on its own and runs back and connects into the carburetor. I'm going to install the exhaust manifold now so take off the protective wrapper, undo your nuts, make sure they don't fall into the exhaust port. There's spring washers here as well. Slide your manifold on, put on the spring washers, put back on your 13mm nuts. and tighten up. I've tipped the engine on its side to make life a little bit easier for myself to put the metal chain guard on which is important to put on first before the clutch otherwise you won't get the bolts in. These bolts are M8 fine thread supplied with the engine so it's important not to get them mixed up with a metric threaded bolt otherwise you'll do damage to the side casing. And go ahead now and tighten it up with a 10mm spanner. I have the chain guard tight, now I'm going to put on the clutch next. Start by putting on this ring washer first with the taper to the inside so it will mate up with the taper on the crankshaft. Then we can slide on our clutch matching up the slots and then slide in our wood rough key then with our M8 bolt, put on the spring washer first, then the penny washer, then the stepped washer with the step to the inside. And then tighten up this bolt to 30 newton meters. You can use a plug stop to stop the crank rotating while you tighten it up. 